To my beloved weekly streaming consciousness friends, fans, partners, whatever, followers, um, I love you, I cherish you, I respect you, honor you, have needed you all along to be the audience um, to let me sound off on. <laughs> I've done a lot of um, th uh, thinking out loud, and you've eavesdropped on a lot of it. But I knew you were there, and I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for all your giving, all your loving, all your generosity, all, all of your expressions of concern, care, compassion, sometimes sympathy. It's all been there. And you've all in, in, um, inaugurated it on your own. So this will be probably one of the last times you'll see me like this. Um, as um, I may be closing some things out. But I'll never close you out in consciousness. I'll never stop thinking of who you are and why you are and how somehow we were divinely drawn together in this divine intersection of lives. But I feel you, and I hope you'll feel me, even when I'm in heaven, or on the other side, or in the other iteration. I'll be thinking of you. I'll be thinking of you, thinking of you. That's an old Andre Crouch song. And uh, I think he meant it from his heart, and I know I meant it from mine, mean it from mine. So stay faithful, stay focused, stay uh, committed. Keep looking up and looking out. And my mom, dad says, stay prayerful and stay, um, stay prayerful. <laughs> what do they say? Stay, <laughs> be careful and prayerful is what they used to say. They still say, mama says, that she was here tonight, here in my hospice room. Stay, stay uh, prayerful and stay careful. careful. And the Lord bless you and the Lord be with you. It's been great talking to you. Some of you have been here the whole 15 years or so since Chicago, since I started going to Chicago. Others of you were new and you're going to go, oh, but there's a lot of tremendous men and women that I've encountered who are going to be speaking on this program. To, uh, um, Malachi will be hosting some of them, carrying on the work, bringing in more exciting things. And we'll grow. we got to grow. we got to keep on growing. Because that's what we're called to do. <laughs> All right. I'm a little exhausted. But know that I love you. And wanted you to hear from my own voice how deeply appreciative I am of who you are and uh, that that you are. Peace and blessing. There are higher dimensions. You will be persecuted because you'll dare to go there. The days that are ahead will be harder than any days you have walked in times past. Hear the word of the Lord. For what God has prepared for you in the days that are ahead of you will bring more persecution and more tribulation and more hungry people will identify with your message and the religious will say we told you so the day will come says the Lord of hosts to this house that people through the nations shall identify with you and those you called your friends shall deny you those that you've discipled and those that you fathered will say I never knew you and those that you never met face to face will say you have been a father to us without ever seeing us for this house has always paid a price this house has never got anything easy the Lord says other churches I have blessed I have prospered but for everything I've done in this place the Lord says it has cost you it has cost you people it has cost you friends it has cost you those that you loved and those that you cared for now the day is ahead that it shall be even worse, says the Lord of hosts, for the accusation shall fly and the day shall come that those that have praised you will condemn you and those that cried Hosanna will cry crucify. The articles and the magazines that pro praise for you shall begin to question 
you theologically says the Lord of hosts but you shall preach my heart for the Lord says I've never called you to fit in the religious circles I've called you to preach to my people and there are people who have been broken and had nowhere to turn this shall I spoke to you in the beginning says the Lord of hosts and the Lord says to this house there are two people that are welcome there are two people that are always welcome here says the Lord of hosts the hungry and the hurting so the Lord said, I shall send to this house those that are hungry and those that are hurting. And those that are not hungry and those that are not hurting, I shall remove. But there are some that sit in your pulpit now that will not sit in your pulpit two years from now. There are some that have called you father but will deny they ever knew you. There are some that you have mentored, trained and poured your life into. And the Lord says that they shall deny that you had anything to do with it. Count it not a strange thing, for these are the things that you've already counted up, the Lord says, and now's the day that you shall walk them out. Fear not, for you shall not lack in anything for the stand that you shall take. For those that have rejected you are the religious, but those that will accept you shall be the secular. The Lord says such a strange thing shall begin to take place. For you shall begin to find doors open, even as I have already done, says the Lord of hosts. But there shall be doors open to this church in strange places, strange television, strange radio, strange, strange things, says the Lord of hosts. Never, the, the, the religious world will separate and distinguish itself, but you shall begin to find my presence in the strangest of places and the strangest of people. The phone shall begin to ring off the hook, says the Lord, with people of renowned name who said, I've never felt comfortable in anybody's church, but I heard you. And for the first time, I feel like I can be accepted for who I am and not what I have. The Lord says to this place, behold, you ask for it, you get it. You've called yourself higher dimensions. Now the day is coming that I shall bring you to places you could not even begin to perceive. For the Lord says that this day shall be a unique and strange day, says the Lord of hosts. There shall come such a mandate upon my manservant. And even his wife, says the Lord of hosts, there shall be such a strange anointing and such a strange ministry that shall flow through her, says the Lord of hosts, that it will not even be perceived, for she has literally been a vessel filled with truth. And there are those who have literally questioned her maturity in the kingdom and what right does she have to be speaking in conferences. But the Lord says her maturity came not because of her spiritual age, but because of her openness to my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. For she was unlearned in the ways of the church, but learned in the ways of God. And the Lord says that there's a word in her that shall deliver many people and shall set many people free. And she shall even make more friends than you by accident. She'll make more friends by accident than you did on purpose. The Lord says literally she shall minister out of her own heart. For she's a woman who can minister the heart of God, the compassion of God. She can love anybody, anywhere. And will meet very famous and important people that shall literally say, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about you, but there's something about you I just like. God says he shall give her a voice to the multitudes to heal those that nobody else would want to touch. To heal those that no one else would want to be connected to. So the Lord says to higher dimensions, prepare yourself for there's a realm in God that you're about to experience. A place that you're about to walk into. A level of God that you're about to see. God says don't fear when the radio reports come and the television and the Christian magazines. For all of those things, you have already counted the cost. And it shall not be important. For I did not call you to be accepted by the Pharisees. I called you to preach the gospel to those who would hear. So the Lord says, behold, they're coming. Those that you have prayed for and those that you have cried out for are coming. And when they come, you shall stand in amazement and say, where do they come from? For the pagans shall come. The unbelievers shall come. The Muslims shall come. The Jews shall come. The Hindus shall come and they will come and they will sit and they will not believe immediately says the Lord but they will come and they will listen <coughs> and they will be touched by the love of God that this house will share for the days are coming ahead that there shall be unique doors that shall be open for you you shall meet major people in major television networks and you shall have words for them they will not mean necessarily thus says the Lord, but they shall be words of friendship and words of healing. And unique things shall begin to take place in this church. The miraculous is about to take place in this church. The Lord says tonight there's strange things taking place, even now as some of you are sitting. And you're looking for it to happen in one big exposure. But the Lord says as truth was coming, you were being healed. 
as you began to divinely connect to the power of the Holy Spirit, as you begin to understand what was in you was absolute power and authority. It was God himself. The thing that you had been worrying about, you'll find yourself here. Testimonies will come in this week. Even as you're standing in the presence of God, testimonies will come about cancer disappearing, about you'll go back to your doctors, different situations. The blood pressure will begin to go down. Heart condition, there's a hole in the heart that will be healed. There's different situations that will begin to be turned around. Even in breast cancer, lumps in the breast will begin to disappear. Even now, in the name of Jesus, the Lord says that there, there's uh, ovarian cancer that's being touched and healed right now in the name of Jesus there's even a woman who's been unable to have children in the next three months the Lord says she's she will literally become impregnated by her husband the Lord says and they shall give birth to a child in a matter of a, one year from this date the Lord says strange things unique things will begin to take place not because anyone laid hands on you not because but because you chose to believe for that that be, because you chose to acknowledge there are realms greater than I can perceive there are things in God I'm longing for I want more I want more I long for more. This house shall be a house for the hurting and a house for the hungry. And they will come. And people will not like them because they come. And they will not like you because you let them come.